This video shows how to remove, clean, and reinstall the spool valve on a Logix 3000 series positioner. First, remove the spool valve cover by loosening the Phillips head bolt from the housing and then pulling the cover up. Next, back out the spool valve block bolts until they are completely loose. By leaving them in the holes, removal of the spool valve will be easier. Now, utilize the bottom bolt to help remove the valve and block by placing a finger underneath the bottom bolt and supporting the top of the valve block with the other. Then push up on the bottom screw to release the valve from its seat. This pivots the valve block in such a way that it releases the valve from the clip underneath. Cleaning the block and valve requires the use of isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Begin by dipping the lint-free cloth into the isopropyl alcohol. Next, lightly grasp the valve in between the two sections of the moistened cloth and rotate the valve to clean the surfaces. Gently continue to clean until all surfaces have been covered by the cloth. Next, we will submerge the block in isopropyl alcohol and rotate the cup or bowl it is in to agitate the liquid and dislodge any debris that may be inside the block. For the next step, adequate BPE is required. Safety glasses are required. Use compressed air to clean out all passages of the spool block to ensure that all contaminants are removed from the internal cavities of the spool block. Repeat this process as needed. To reassemble, insert the spool valve into the raised end of the spool rod. The thinner end of the spool rod should be inserted first. Note, do not insert the valve into the flat end of the spool block as this could create a problem. Also, do not insert the spool rod into the driver clip before the block. The spool rod may be bent by doing so. The valve should slide freely and smoothly inside the spool block. If it does not, you may need to clean the assembly again or inspect for damage including bends, and replace components as needed. Apply Loctite 222 into the screw holes. Next, reinsert the spool by extending the valve from the block in order to reach the clip below. This clip must be connected to the valve correctly to ensure proper function. Align the spool valve end directly in front of the clip, in the center, and slide the tip of the valve under the fingers of the clip. Note, take care not to disturb or bend the springs on the sides of the clips, as this could affect the connection and function of the valve. To illustrate this, we will hold the driver module outside of the positioner and simulate the process. Once the valve is aligned, use the block to orient it and push the assembly straight in until it seats completely. Verify that the spool valve is aligned correctly with the screw holes. Orient the screws in the same fashion they were removed, and hand tighten them in order to avoid cross-threading or over-tightening, as excessive torque can cause failure of the aluminum threads in the housing. In preparation for reinstalling the spool valve cover, verify that the filter and ring are properly aligned. Finally, apply Loctite 222 to the screw hole and replace the spool valve cover in the opposite fashion you removed it.